What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I'm going to show you how you can glitch in to the Wrath of the Machine raid from patrol mode, from patrolling the playground. It is pretty damn epic. But before we get into the video, if you guys do enjoy it, leaving a like is very much appreciated. Let's aim for 4,000 likes. That'd be absolutely insane. Also as well, I must shout out the dude who originally showed me this. His name is Zach Bean Colts and you can find his YouTube channel linked in that video description be sure to check him out and show him some love another thing to mention as well as far as i know this can only be done on the hunter you need to be using that golden gun subclass with that triple jump equipped you also need the bones of ao and you also need a sword as well because there's going to be a lot of jumping and swinging that sword to get to actually where you need to glitch in to the raid it's not difficult but it can be a little bit tricky in places so once you've landed in patrol so what you want to do is when you land into the plague lands you want to make your way to foundry 113 if you don't know where that is follow the route i take on screen now Now once you get to Foundry 113, if I was you I'd take out all the ads because all they're going to do is cause you trouble while you're trying to jump up. So if I was you, kill all these motherfuckers so they don't shoot at your ass when you're trying to glitch in. Now once you have taken care of all the ads, what you want to do is you want to jump up to the platform Vorzik tries to escape to, you know, just before you go and collect that loot after the first phase. Basically there, where I am now on screen. Now once you are here, what you want to do is look to your left and you'll see a little platform sticking out which you first need to jump to. Once you're on this platform, you need to jump up to this sort of light hole in the wall. It's not hard to do. Make sure you've got your sword at hand just in case you do need to swing into it. Once you are here, you need to jump across to this platform sticking out right there. So just simply jump up using that triple jump and you should get there pretty easily once here you need to jump out to this platform so what you want to do is you need to jump out then jump back in on yourself now here you need to jump up to this little platform sticking out right there this can be a little bit tricky but once you get the hang of it you should be fine i mean i fell off this about six times and it started to piss me off i actually figured out an easy way to get there just jump up and swing your sword at it and once you are here you need to jump up onto the block above your head the one i shot at so here you want to jump out then jump up pretty easy when you get the hang of it now here you just need to jump across to this little platform right there this as well can be a little bit tricky i kept falling off this one as well it got really annoying to be honest i almost rage quit and this video never would have been made so once you are here you need to jump up and over the ledge right there so jump up and jump onto this ledge right here now once you're here you need to walk forward slightly and you'll see a kind of orange light over the one side. Now you can't see this where you're aiming with your gun, but you can see it when your sword's out. And what you want to do is you want to jump across to this, then turn left and spam that melee button. Press jump and melee until you get to the very top. And you'll know when you get to the top because you won't have to keep swinging. You'll be able to walk forward. Okay, so once you are here, what you need to do is just jump up simply to the wall on your left. Not hard at all. So jump up and land on the platform on your left. And once you are up here, you've got an amazing view of the plague lands. You can see all sorts of buildings, half finished and glitched walls and all sorts. But still a great, great view. Now continuing on with this glitch into the raid, what you want to do is you want to jump across right here. Keep walking in the direction I walk and you'll find an invisible wall which won't let you go any further. The direction you need to go is kind of over this way but there's an invisible wall. Even if you jump down there's still an invisible wall there. I tried all different ways to try and get past it but it just did not work. So what you want to do is if you do jump down you need to make your way back up. 
and follow the invisible wall until you actually fall down so just keep walking against it and eventually you'll drop and as soon as you drop just keep swinging that sword keep pressing that melee button and you'll get past the invisible wall eventually and then you'll land on this platform where I'm landing on right here it's actually a part that sticks out the great thing about this is though if you die here you will respawn in this exact spot I died here about 20 damn times but luckily you respawn in this exact spot once you are here you need to jump and swing that sword until you land in this sort of hole right here once you are here you're pretty safe you can't fall out you can do a little bit of exploring isn't much to see here but you can have a little look about Now once you've done looking about, you need to jump back up to this little platform right here. It's not hard to do at all, so you should get it first try. Now once you've landed on this platform, you need to jump upwards to that spot right there. So jump up and you should be fine. Once you are here, it's basically done. You are basically a guaranteed into the raid. So jump up again and enjoy the massively badass view from up here too. Not a bad view if I do say so myself. Now you see me let a few bullets rip because it took me about an hour to get this right. Okay, so once you're on here, you want to run across this building. You'll see where it says turn back. Just drop down and swing into Splicer's Den. Now here, you actually have to die to spawn inside the raid. I mean, I tried what I could to get in, to glitch in, but it just wouldn't allow me. So what you want to do is you just want to die. And when you do respawn, you will respawn in the raid, allowing you to explore the motherfucker, which is pretty damn badass. And that is it, guys. That is how you glitch into the raid. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do hit that like button. I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny. Turn on them notifications so you don't miss a video. And I'll catch you guys on that next one. Stay